Hello everyone, I'm going to present our paper entitled as Reconsolidating First Order Masking Schemes Nullify Fresh Randomness, which is joint work with Amir and I'm Ayn, and I have the pleasure to present this paper in this video. Masking schemes are one of the most popular countermeasures against cycle analysis and which is based on a randomizing sensitive data during the execution of the cipher. So masking a scheme, we usually divide the sensitive variable into some shares and the adver which make or forces the adversary to recombine the shares to recover the key. But um, how we can evaluate a given mask design? So to this end, probing model was proposed. So adversary can probe the intermediate values and each probe are exact and independent. And it has been shown that security in this model also provides security in other models. And if any combination of intermediate values does not reveal anything about the secret, then the design is secure uh, against this order side channel attack. And due to its uh, simple uh, basis and sim due to its uh, simplicity and um, its abstraction, probing model is basis for many proofs in side channel analysis. However, uh, it does not properly work in hardware implementations. Um, the reason behind these is glitches. Glitches are unwanted um, transition at the output of a combinatorial circuit, and uh, this fact usually or mainly due to the unbalanced uh, path of the input of a combinatorial circuit. So, in this model, when a probe placed on a gate, it propagates backward up to the last synchronization point. So here is a simple um, logic circuit. So if you probe the output or one of the output, the probe pro propagates backward and the adversary have information about the old four input bits that are involved in the calculation of uh, original probe. So to this end, to mask hardware platforms, many um, methodology have been proposed. So one of the first methodologies that are immune against glitches is tertiary implementation, or TI. TI is based on three essential rules on, and conditions, which are called correctness, non-completeness, and uniformity. And basically in this design, we make a design which is correct and non-complete, and by adding some correct terms, we try to find uniform sharing. The input, uh, the number of input shares is defined based on the algebraic degree of the target function and also security order D. However, in um, D plus one sharing, um, we use only D plus one, so it's independent uh, of the algebraic degree of the target function. And also it, the structure of D plus one sharing is something like this. I brought a very simple example, a first order secure two input and gate using two shares. Um, in D plus one sharing, the mass circuit usually is divided by um, in, into two parts. One part is called component function. So now here we have four component function and I show showed the one of them with the box. And the result of the each component function should be stored in a register. And we have a compression layer is basically the combination of um, some component function by XOR to generate uh, to output shares in this case. But for some Boolean function like 
this one, OB plus C, it has been shown that it's not necessary to use fresh masks. So in this case, the C, which is a variable of the target function F, uh, can be seen as a fresh mask, and then it can be can be shown that uh, this design is a glitch extended probing secure and also uniform. If we replace the C with B, then we want to see whether it remains secure or not. So to evaluate the security around this paper, this uh, table. In this table, um, you can see each intermediate variable here. So if adversary probe one of the intermediate value, uh, values like x prime zero to x prime three, and for example here x prime zero, which is a output of first component function, you can see that if I fix the unshared value O and B to anything, and then C probe up, and I go over all valid in, uh, all valid input shares, then I see always three zero and one one. So the adversary, regardless of the unshared value, see the same probability distribution. So it means that it's completely independent of the O and B. I can explain this one in other way because every component function is non-complete. So in this case, it receives only O0 and B0 and O0 and B0 are independent of O and B. So probing any and uh, of component function output does not reveal anything about the secret. So what if uh, adversary probe one of the output there, so in this case, x0. So in glitch extended probing model, it expands to two probes, as you can see here. So to evaluate the security, we have to see this part of the table. And as you can see, again, regardless of the answer value of and B, the probability joint distribution is always the same. So we can conclude that this design is always secure, and it doesn't matter the adversary probe which part of the circuit, and replacing the C with B also leads to a secure design. So this means that we can um, make a secure mask implementation of two input and gate without any fresh mask with only two shares. And by only inverting the O in this function. So O bar B plus B is already O B. And if we follow this um, construction that I show in the last slide, then we can have a secure design. I would like to stress that this is the first time such a mask implementation is presented in the literature. So we are going to make it a bit generalized. So if F is um, an arbitrary um, two input function, which is a quadratic, then we have always the term OB, and the shared variant has four quadratic terms that you can see here. So due to non-completeness, we should have at least four component functions. So to find a, a secure design, we follow the below steps. So basically, um, we made the set F0, including all possible two input two input constant free recorded functions uh, for F0. So in this case, for F0, we take O0 and V0 as its input, we have four different coordinate functions, namely O0, V0, O0, V0 plus O0, and then we have O0, V0 plus V0, and O0, V0 plus O0 plus V0. So each set has four different coordinate functions, and the set F0 has four different elements. We can do the same for other sets and make F1 to F3, 
and then we search for tuples in F1 and F0 if we suppose that uh, the component function F0 and F1 are compressed. So we are searching for tuples which is which leads to identical joint probability distribution as I shown in the last slide we should make sure that if the adversary prone of the output shares and it expand the pro expands to some um, uh, some of the component function output we should always see the same joint probability this ensures the security in which extended probing model and then and they are XOR, I mean the output of F0 and F1, if the XOR together, uh, we should see a balance function, which means that it should yield to as many as 1 as 0. This is a necessary condition to achieve uniformity. So if any of those tuples fulfills uh, both conditions, we, should, we add them into the set F01 and do the same for the component function F2 and F3 and make the set F2 and F3. And the last step, we search for the, uh, for the tuples whose X or makes a correct sharing. So in TI, in the first step, we have something which is correct and non-complete and trying to add uh, correction terms to make it uniform. However, in our algorithm, we have something which is non-complete and uniform and also a glitch extended probing secure, and then we try to find the correct area. So we can make it a bit more generalized for any uh, three input function. So then we are forced to use at least uh, eight component functions because we have a cubic function and we have three inputs. Each input is shared with two and then we have two to the power of three which means eight component functions. So the estate is pretty similar to last one. We mix sets F0 to F7 and each of them should include all possible three cubic terms then if we assume that uh, uh, F0 to F3 are compressed, we search for tuples that again has um, the same or identical joint probability distribution, which again ensures security in glitch and the probing model, and then the their X or is a balanced function. We keep those tuples fulfilled uh, both conditions and add them to the set F0123. We do the same, make the other set, and then we trying to find a core sharing. So in this way, we found many solutions for three input end gate without any fresh masks. So this is also the first time such a construction is presented. So let's make a bit more generalized and for more complex Boolean functions. We have a function f, which is a constant free, as always. If it's not, we can remove it at first and then add them in the shared uh, mask uh, version of the target function, which is f here. So again, because we have four input and also it, it's cube function, we can uh, share it or we can realize the share variant with two input shares with eight component functions. I would like to highlight that this is not only the only possibility and we have some other possibility to share on uh, or basically distribute the share term into uh, component functions. And the algorithm is pretty similar to three input cubic functions. So I'm not going to repeat them, but we have a more search space. It's, it's harder and um, we need more time to search such an, uh, to apply our algorithm to such a 
um, functions, which has four input and uh, with algebra degree of three. So we take the middle box, and we know that it's four bit to four bit bijection, and each coordinate function uh, is at most cubic. So we can apply an algorithm uh, to each of uh, coordinate functions. And as you can see, we have many solutions for each coordinate function. So for example, here for one coordinate function, we have about 70 million solutions, which is secure under Bleach extended point model and uniform, and also, of course, uh, correct. But it doesn't mean any combination of these solutions uh, leads to a jointly uniform solution. So to find the jointly uniform solution, uh, if we take uh, two solutions and then check the uniformity, and if it was uniform, we add the third one, uh, otherwise we discard it. So in this way, we discard the non-uniform solution earlier. And if the third one, is jointly uniform, then we add the last one and check the uniformity. And keep in mind that uh, the number of possible combination uh, in middle box giving these numbers is very high and it's not possible actually to check it all in once. So we found a solution and actually many solutions for Midori and based our, on our findings, we realized a two-share round-based implementation of Midori, uh, which uh, supports both encryption and decryption function without any fresh mass, and I would like to stress that this is the first time such a construction is presented in literature. So we have applied our technique to present this post, and we also found millions of uh, secure solutions on the clock glitch probing model and also uniform shape. And then we have designed a two-share serial implementation of present to make it fair to, uh, to compare it to a state of the art. And again, this is the first time such construction without any fresh mind using the minimum number of input shares is presented. We also uh, applied our technique to princess box, but it's not as I said forward as the former cases. So both S box and S box inverse uh, are used in prints. And as always, and like uh, former cases, we have many solutions for each coordinate function. However, we found no solution with jointly uniform for Xbox or its inverse. So basically, if you uh, if you take three output shares, then it's jointly uniform, any combination of three. But then if you add the force on, then it's not jointly uniform. And we have already searched all the space and we didn't find anything. But based on these construction, we implemented both Xbox and its inverse. So here, and we store a component function in the register and the compression, and we also have a state register here. And this design, we didn't see any leakage in practice. I mean, getting 100 million traces from FPGA, we didn't see any leakage. In, and this is our observation. And we think uh, the diffusion layer here plays a role. So if you compose a couple of S in a row without any <clears throat> diffusion layer, we have more uh, leakage. But if we add this diffusion layer here, then the amount of the leakage is uh, too small to take in our cases. So this is only our observation <clears throat> and not a proof. And we also applied our technique in ASS. So basically we took tower field approach and, and use it. 
So we have three multiplier here. And inverter here is a 4 bit to 4 bit function. And uh, a square scale function, which is a linear, then we have two ORs. So to apply our technique to these functions, we integrate, integrate all these functions and make one function which is 8 bit to 4 bit function, and we call it a square scale multiply. And then we have an inverter here, which is a 4 bit to 4 bit uh, function, which is at most cubic. And S square S square multiply is um, quadratic, each coordinate function. We have multiplier here, which is a four, um, 8 bit to 4 bit function. And each coordinate function is quadratic. So we can use our algorithm to find the solution. And actually, we found. Uh, a secure probing um, sharing and also a uniform for each of them and based on that we uh, introduce two designs one take one fresh beat here to make it a uh, secure and uniform and then we found the solution without any fresh mask here and also the multiply to multiply here uh, is also uniform and probing skew. And even though these four bit and these four bit, which is output of this multiplier and this multiplier is uh, uniform, these eight bit is not uniform. So you can get rid of this one bit fresh mask here by implementing the square scale multiplier function twice in such a way that it provides two different outputs and then we have to implement inverter twice <clears throat> and then we have a multiplier here and again the output of each multiplier is uniform but it's not jointly uniform when consider these a bit so i should uh, highlight that this is only the inversion so we need an input affine here. So let me show here, which is easy. We apply the input affine as for the result in the register and then uh, add it in front of it. However, we need output affine here, but we cannot give it right away because it's not uniform. So again, we are going to use of, make a use of diffusion layer of uh, AES. So a prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime are the output of the inversion, the mask inversion. We need to apply the output of one and then the mix column and X, Y, Z, and T are the output of the mix column. So we divide it or basically decompose the two function, mix column prime and beta. And because all of these operations are linear, we can change the order. So basically apply the beta first and store the result in the register and then apply the mix column prime. So as you can see here, the beta has only zero and one and does not mix anything from the same S box. And for example, here you can see the addition of other versions output as a fresh mass. So then X prime, Y prime, Z prime, and T prime become uniform individually. So of course, if you consider all of them together, it's not uniform anymore. So then we apply the mix column prime and output affine, and then we have the output of the mix column. So here you can see general structure of the AS encryption, which is a byte serial implementation. We have key registers, we have a state register here, we apply beta, store the result in the register, and then output that one and mix column prime. And the result of the mix column prime also registered here. So because we didn't apply the output of one right after the uh, inversion here, we need to uh, apply output of one inverse to make sure that the key expansion is correct. And as I said before, we have input affine here, which is also stored in the 
register and then we have the inverter here. And again, in our FPGA analysis, we didn't see any leakage and we're seeing again these uh, me column and beta function and mix column prime play a role and make the leakage too small to detect in the FPGA evaluation. So here is the result. As you can see, the Midori um, has a bit more area overhead compared to the state of the art and also has a bit more delay. But as an advantage, it uses two shares, two input shares, which means that it needs less initial masking. Our present, it has lower area overhead and also roughly the same delay and also is two share compared to the state of the art, which is a two shares. Our prints uh, designs has no fresh masks and basically doesn't need any fresh masks. And the area overhead and delay is uh, also roughly the same with the state of the art. And our AS, we have two variants with uh, one bit fresh mask per S-box and or per clock cycle because we use only one S-box in byte serial implementation. And we also have no fresh mask uh, design, which is a bit larger because we have to um, instance of some function twice. And you can see here we have the smallest AS implementation here in the state of the art and we use basically one fresh mask here and no fresh mask here. So as an evaluation, as I said, we verified the security of our construction using Silver. Um, all the designs are secure under the glitch extended probing model. And um, as I said before, some of them are not jointly fully uniform and but the form Prince and Midori, we found a solution which is jointly uniform. And because Silver, it is a, a still possible with Silver to analyze the full encryption. We perform a practical analysis on FPGA, on Sakurogi FPGA, and getting 100 million traces. And in none of them, including in AES and Prince, we didn't see any leakage. So this is my last slide. And in this paper, we provided a methodology to realize first order two share mask realization of nonlinear function without any fresh masks. And we introduced for the first time the secure AND gate with two input and three input with no fresh masks and also the mirror box and presence box. And we also applied our um, technique to prints and AES and we didn't see any leakage in practice. And our designs, to the best of our knowledge, are the only one which use only two shares without any fresh masks and without applying changing of guards. So thanks a lot for your attention and watching this video. And please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions or if you have any suggestion. Thank you so much.